Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. I hope you're doing really well. I hope, but I can tell you guys clearly, most of you are doing better than I am because I'm in deep, deep shit. But guys, in this video, we'll be talking about Manchester United wanting to look for their a new uh, left back. We'll talk about a potential Anthony uh, Swift to Turkey. It could happen. I mean, today, it could happen today. I, they said yesterday, but you know, today, because, you know, uh, for certain reasons, it could happen today. I'm going to tell you guys a bit later about that. And guys, I want to tell you guys about an attacker which United have just got up from slumber trying to buy a top, top attacker in AZ. So that's what we'll be talking about today, guys. Before we start, please make sure you click the like on the video. But those of you who are your first time clicking here, yeah, thanks for clicking. We try to upload videos here every day. We used to do it like every day. I'm in deep shit. It's not my fault. It's kind of a destiny, but I'll have a video for some of you who spend your time investing in our community. I think of the moderators. I think of um, Van, Hoist, Van Hoist. I think of also uh, most of you, uh, which I really miss you. I would love to go on to our live streams. We'll be doing it maybe sometimes in future. But for now, guys, please click the like on the video. Thanks for all of you are doing so and share it. But let's go straight to the news. So what is happening here is that, you know, the transfer window in Turkey is, is still has some days to close for the window to be over. And we'll be getting this information that the attacker, Brazilian attacker, Anthony Dal Silva has been linked to Fenerbahce, which is a bit tricky. But, you know, uh, the thing, uh, the, the whole idea of the deal is kind of a loan deal to save Fenerbahce because he has been useless. I mean, it's not, I'm not being hard to Anthony. Anthony has been useless. I mean, most of you love him. I told you I had, uh, I, I would say I had a Facebook group because I'm no longer in the group. I've been blocked by Facebook. And, um, and uh, yeah, and um, most of the African community, you guys really like the player. But let's be, let's be honest. Anthony, uh, United, uh, Anthony cost United close, I mean, over 90 million pounds. And this is a player that has done nothing. And if you are coming into the community and saying that it is Ten Hag's fault that we have lost 90 million pounds, which means you uh, you just became a Manchester United fan today. Because I can remember last year when Ten Hag wanted Anthony, when Anthony's value was 28 max 30 million pounds last year, then we had a certain John Meta who were just using United money for their private. I don't want to. I, want, I don't want to go private. Who are using United money for their private errands? Let me put it this way: going to Barcelona, spending time with the uh, the young, which who never wanted to be in Manchester United in the first place. And this is wrong. I think this is wrong, guys. I just think that there is no accountability in football these days. This is um, this is unbelievable. I think there must be a good. I use the word I think because, you know, football is an opinion base. As being a fan, the good thing being a fan is that you have an opinion. You can always express your opinion. I think there must be some penalties on certain actions, right? I mean, in the government, you do have those penalties. You could be voted out. You could be criminally liable. But I'm not saying that we should go to that level. But it has to have something to do with your pockets. You cannot have a director of technique, who, a technical director of a football club who spent a billion, millions of money, dollars and and has and go away with a good salary. This is unbelievable. I think for a fan, for us who pay the hard and money, guys, because of all who buy the, the, the merchandise of this club, the stakeholders, you can say the lesser stakeholders, but we, uh, we are trapped. We are trapped in a, in a situation where we cannot really influence uh, decisions, but guess what? We have to be reading this crap every day to you guys. I think Anthony had to, Manchester United, what I'm trying to say is that Manchester United had to buy Anthony when Anthony was less than 40 million euros. It would have been an easy thing for us to sell him for 2025. Because if you want to look at his value, he's an international, he hasn't been called off recent. He has had a bad season. He had, He's a one-dimensional footballer, which most of you know. What Anthony does, I think all of you, you don't, you don't need a manager to coach you how to attack Anthony. Anthony plays on the right. All he does, he cuts the ball and he cuts it in jail. That's all he does. Anthony is one of the most useless players, even if he scores a goal for Manchester United. He is not collective early uh, feet, and uh, I think it's a good thing for him to move on so we can give more time to players like uh, Ahmad uh, and also the young players which we have here. Yeah. So let's move straight with, uh, to the next story which we have been listening. This is a sto story that we have been get getting the whole week. I didn't actually talk about it because I wanted it to be sure, but now it is really clear uh, Fabrizio talking about this uh, story at, uh, uh, as well. So another story here today is United have now, they, United, this is, the, this is the, the, the disease which we need to fight against. United is now thinking, oh yeah, we needed the left back because we cannot count on a player like Luke Shaw. We cannot count on a player like Tyra Malasia. So we need a left back. 
when do we need it when the window is over i remember most of you when we're doing streams here i mean you know i travel a lot i did my streams from different countries from turkey from russia from the uk yeah, from, from scotland i've been around i've been around i've been around a lot so i remember most of you saying that ralph what about the left back 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 and i got that i remember one particular i think it was uh femi always talking about the left back where you know because manchester united really needed it and now we played against liverpool all of the goals were came to the left back so it's been said that manchester united have got up from slumber and now they want to get a left back and uh and Rob I mean, robinson from uh fulham is one of the players the three left backs which united are trying to scout to bring up for that and these are all for for next season maybe if we're lucky january the january season the january transfer window is um very expensive to get quality players because teams want to save themselves they won't sell their players they will do that only you can get good deals in summer if you're new in this business so united have um agreed and accepted it's their fault that they didn't go for it and uh it's written here but uh, this, is, uh, this is a story for mirror but most are let's pick it up you know man united explored two uh, new left backs deals in a french injury blow that sparks uh, pr transfer priority so uh whose fault is it is it the players having injuries or is Manchester who never saw this coming? Because I think most of the fans did saw this coming because most of the fans knew that United had a massive problem in that left back. We bought Malzuari, which we knew could play as a left back. But Malzuari is a player which uh, Ten Hag has been using on the right side of the, wing, the field. And let's say we have a, 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 a um, let's say we have a professional left back in uh, how do you keep the law on the bench? That law used to be our best player. Look, I tell you something. Ten Hag is in problem. Ten Hag is in problem. Why? Maybe it's a good problem. You have too much players to use. But Ten Hag is in problem because he needs to come out. That he needs to come out courageous. I think Ten Hag needs to solve this issue. We need to know our first eleven. Do you know our first eleven? Because I don't know. But this is the third season for Ten Hag. I'm a big supporter of Ten Hag. You know this if you're an old, old guy here. Yeah. Guys, please click the like on the video if you are getting some value, some organic value. Because guess what? Um, I have no affiliation with Manchester United groups. I speak things as they are. So, talking things as they are, we have a certain Marcus Rashford who hasn't kicked off the season yet. We have a certain Bruno Fernandes who are just all over the place. We have a certain attackers who have not yet, uh, you know, merged together to play some good football. So, that is a big, big, big problem for Manchester United Football Club. We have to get things right. And to get things right, United are thinking of getting, going to Eberechi. Ebe, Ebe, Ebe he must be a Nigerian. Eberechi Eze from Crystal Palace. This is a player which City wanted. Since you are looking at the player, he's a player which most Premier League team within wanted. From just, from um, Yeah, he plays for Crystal Palace in, uh, in London. But look, he will cost a fortune. A fortune. I, we are hearing figures of 60 five million pounds for his contract i don't know what you guys think tell me what you think below about this contract is this a, it will this, how what how do how do we do this contract i've heard friends telling me yeah uh, uh, in the uk that uh, you know what i think we should sell rashford and we'll bring such a player like is the problem yeah i i must admit this guys give me just a second eric tenak is slightly becoming a problem why because honestly so i love the guy a lot I want him to stay but i'm not seeing him putting his i mean he needs to place he needs to put his image out there he needs to make us the fan understand what he's all about we need a team that can function without any players we need a playing style look i am telling you guys this uh, that if we can if we play bouncy with the top club and we start playing we are not playing well everything else should be sacked get just just forget i mean he can turn things around if we play a team like Bansley, we're playing our first team for a cup game like Bansley, then we play in a very lothodic match where we cannot dictate the game. Eric Tenak should be sacked. And I'm not saying this lightly. Most of you know that. Most of you know that. Anyway, guys, uh, as they come to United, would that change a lot? I think what more needs to change in Manchester United is the playing style. We need to know what we are all about. We get the story of Eric, we playing from the back to the front, um, from the defenders to the back to the front. But, you know, realistically, when we watch the games, we don't see these moves that much. So I think Terry Tenang needs to get his act done. I wouldn't be sitting here and favoring people. This is his third year. I will still tell you guys, honestly, you want to hate me, you want to subscribe. 
fine but i'm a fan forget at the end of the day i have my opinion and you can bring yours on the table anyway guys great short video we don't have we have some issues in our community in, uh, in, in personally which i started the video telling you guys hope we're gonna solve it i respect you by informing you i, I, I should i couldn't even say it but uh, i think uh, we have better days ahead we, uh, we have some people trying to bring us like sponsors also in the community but we will we will uh, get back to you guys well lovely lovely tuesday we will come up uh, on uh, tomorrow give you guys maybe tomorrow on thursday our preview our uh, game against southampton because look if if we can beat southampton which are very uh, lethargic which are not in good shape then uh, we need to start looking at the manager honestly it's not about the players at this time i can't support him anymore for that anyway guys great speaking to you smash a like on the video get involved with the united way tv and guess what talk to you soon guys